Okay, power clip, um, power clip an image or photograph into your text. I've got my text here and if you notice there's an image behind the text. If I go close like that. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm just going to extract this image here and then we'll do, I'll do the tutorial. Okay. So now in here what I did here is that I typed in the text. This one is a text. If you notice it's it's a text. Okay. Just gonna delete that. Okay, so I type in Honda, you can choose whatever text you want. Okay. It's going to choose that one. Okay. And uh so what I did I okay, let's remove the outline first. Okay, there's no outline, it's just a fill. Okay. It doesn't matter what color. Okay. I'll just make that I'll just make the black for now. Okay. Now what I do, I'll put this one into my photograph, okay? But make sure that your text is in front of the photograph. So if you click on your text and you go to Arrange, Order, to Front of Page, then it will be to the front of the image. And I'm going to resize that or scale it. Okay, okay now let's say I'm happy with that one. I can click on the photograph. Okay. And I go to effects, power clip, place inside the container. Okay. So our container is actually our, our text, our text Honda. So you click on the text Honda and there you go. Then I can apply some outline if I want to. Uh, let's make it two or I'll make it bigger outline. Let's say I'll make it four. Click OK. Now let's say you're not really happy with the position of the of the, the photograph. So what you do, you click on your text with the power clip image. You go to effects, power clip, and then click on edit contents. Now when you edit contents, you can you can move the photograph. Okay. So these blue lines here, okay, it spells Honda. So that's that's my container. Okay. Okay, so when I'm happy with the position, I click on finish, and there, position changed. Then you can add some effects, like you can put drop shadow, click and then drag. You can put some drop shadows, nice drop shadows, and uh, there you go.